Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more Blind Gaming and a new LP for the channel. Hooray! This one's called When I Sleep. For the PC, of course. It's a spooky indie horror game. I'll leave a link in the description below, though, for you guys if you want to check it out for yourselves before or after the video if you're into spooky horror games, like me. Otherwise, you can just enjoy yourselves while I go through the torture. <laughs> Hopefully this one's not too bad. It doesn't look, I mean, you got the spooky pixel monster in the background there, but that makes me think it won't be too bad. Some of these are surprisingly unforgiving, very much so, but I am blind, hence my channel name. I have no center vision at all, so if I can do this, you most certainly can do this. The page description for this, right before I hit record to play this for you guys, I went to the page to try to get a feel for what the game, and basically you got to escape and survive. That's a about all it told me which is weird it didn't kind of give a detailed description on what the story is so it's probably one of those spooky games without a story <laughs> we're in some sort of nightmare anyways guys without further ado let's do this and i need to turn my headset way up here it got real quiet see i mean it it looks okay i mean i made some I definitely had to make some changes on my video settings for the video card for this to play like this because it's a real shaky game, but this has actually calmed down quite a bit. Thank God for my video card. It's like the size of my phone. Is that Mel? Okay, so I hope you guys caught that. I That was the kind of stuff I can't catch because it's too quick for me. So I'm going to have to solve this game by logic, apparently. Ugh. I miss reading. <laughs> if you guys are new to the channel, I, I haven't been blind all my life. Just when I was in my, uh, I think, 24 is when it started. So I used to be able to read. And, uh, yeah, can't do that anymore without being able to take a picture of it. So... I think it said something about I'm ha my name's Gene and I'm having bad dreams and I can't sleep and uh, he uh, Mel was trying to calm me down but I don't know if that's really the case. I'm clicking things because it said to click uh, things change. Let's see what buttons do what here. Can we go out? No. So maybe we gotta lay on the couch. Oh, we do. So we're gonna try to fall asleep here. I wonder if this is our like studio apartment. Could be a pull-out bed. Well, right to it. Where am I? I did see that. It's one of those games. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, we're in a dream. Is this what they call a lucid dream when you're kind of aware? I think that's a lucid dream, but I don't know if you like if you're aware and know you're dreaming. So yeah, if you guys are playing this and it looks like crap. Um, you can hit me up in my comments 
on this video and I'll tell you what I did to fix this because it actually runs significantly better for me. Okay, so that's just a key. I like that. So I, I can actually see the text um, and I can take a picture of it if I need to, but it said key. Press E to close. So it looks like an insane asylum kind of room, but the doors has no door handle. Okay. It was adamant about clicking. Oh. I'm in here. Open the door. Oh. Okay, that scared me. Oh boy, welcome home. <laughs> Looks like H. I don't like that. Oh god. The volume is really loud on my headset. Ooh. I like doing it though because it spooks me more. Because I'm not getting as scared lately. So I'm hoping the high volume will uh, not only, you know, kill my hearing, but help spook me. <laughs> Alright, what's this key for? It was a cheesy jump scare, but that sound got me bad. It has to be really fun making a game. It really does. Oh, that was the key. I like how it shows you a key and then it disappears to let you know you used it. I don't like games where you're kind of wondering. Okay, so it looks like that's all empty. Am I going to preach to the choir or the uh, people? A piece of paper. Hmm. So we need to collect paper to make a picture. That wasn't there before. All right, so that is what, 10.45? Oh boy, that's upside down. It is 3.15, right? 12's up there, 3.15. I think that's what it is. Okay, we gotta remember, 3.15. Let's see, is it, no, oh, maybe. Nothing there. That looks like something should be there. Do you see that? Like there's a... I thought it was a picture or something that should be there, but... Could be a door that's going to appear there. Oh, this is different. Okay. I should have just come this way. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, that's the key to me getting spooked more. Cranking the volume. And I like how they didn't blare a sound in my face. It was just a startle. I've been worried and concerned that I haven't been getting spooked as hard. This is definitely the way I need to go. It's hard though, sometimes I feel like I'm yell talking and I don't want to do that. <laughs> because it, you know, the volume is too loud, but it, it seems doable. Oh, so we only needed to find one. Oh no, we're going to click this in here. <laughs> yep, she's going to be there. Can I juke you? Yeah, come tromp trompsin' over here, honey. Okay, I was wondering, I go, did, 
Was I supposed to get out of that? Oh, I didn't catch that last part. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> hey, my flashlight. Oh, we're outside now. Oh, that's cool. I love... Yeah, I really need to start making my game again. This this really gets me craving it. Do you imagine, though, you're literally God. When you make a game, you're God. And you can do anything your imagination... That's what always intrigued me of a game creation. You're God, and imagination's the limit. So if you want to make an FPS or a spooky game... You know, whatever you can think of, you can actually do it. And that is, I don't know, that really intrigues me. I need some matches. Oh, was that there? It probably wasn't. Turn the flashlight off for extra spooks. I love that horn. That's a good spooky noise. I'm so glad I messed with the settings. It looks way better. Or plays way better. I'm on the fantastic settings, but... It still ran no matter what quality you had. It ran like garbage. Because you would do this. And you can kind of see it, but it would be super harsh. With that jiggle, it would be really harsh. Okay, let's see here. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Looking for faces in the windows. I know I've said this before too, with my vision, once my vision went, like, all my center vision disappeared, I started really appreciating games, even the free ones like this, where I'm, like, looking for detail. Because everybody speeds through. They just want to get through it. They don't want to read. They don't want to, like, appreciate anything. And these developers, some of them put a lot of thought into it, and you can, you can catch some really cool things and appreciate what they do. I don't know. That's just how I am now. So if you see me kind of slowly looking around, that's just my thing. Alright, something gonna appear in the tombstone. You've reached so far, the end is near. I thought I was gonna have my name, Gene, right on there. Okay. Oh, that's gone now. Let's go back this way, just in case. Oh, there's a stairwell now. Oh, boy. Oh, God. You got some uh, rust. Silent Hill type stuff. Nice. The door closes on its own, of course. Of course it does. What's this? I'm trying to get out of this nightmare. I think that's the point of the game. Whoa. Little purgatory waiting room. Another piece of paper. Oh, so it's number one. This is going to be a labyrinth, isn't it? Well, let's just go this way. Oh, I see another one. There's number two. Now, I think souls are, in some cultures, are uh, thought of as pieces of paper in the afterlife. Oh, my arm's itching. I'm stressed. Is that something down there on the floor? That's going to be locked, isn't it? I'm Let's check it out. Yeah, it says locked. 
So we have to remember that door. Well, depends how lost we, we get. <laughs> oh, it was a reflection. Well, that might be the key. Let's... I don't know how many pages if we need, like... Or uh, pieces of paper there. Maybe we need four. I've heard that music. That ambient background music. I've heard that before. Can't remember where, though. It could just be in another game. Okay, we got three. Nothing happened. And I, I haven't seen the place where we put the paper yet. Let's just kind of keep going this way. I don't know, between the haunted house experience of the... Yeah, this is a maze. These horror games. I like to see the personalities, these people. A lot of them are like young kids, of course. But, um... Some of them are adults. So it's nice to see, you know, an adult personality. Alright, so something might happen when I pick this up. I'm getting, I'm getting itchy. And when I get itchy, I'm nervous. It means the headphones are doing the trick. I think this says, wake up, wake up, and find the way to escape. He is uh, of this nightmare. Escape this nightmare. He is here. Once I hit E, who is he? Is he going to pop up? Let's wait. I got... Oh, God. Okay, he is here. I don't know what way to go, though. Uh, I'm nervous. Oh god, he's fast. I can't sprint. Oh, he's coming. There, is it, is it over here? Oh, here we go. Oh god, he's right there. <laughs> Don't get me. Oh, he's coming. I hope I'm not too slow. Oh, wait. Is he going to come still? Ah, I thought he chased me to the end. Usually I'll show the death, but I had a feeling it was going to be the same bitch slap <laughs> that we got earlier. Okay. We got out of our nightmare. Thank God it's morning. I did catch that. Nice wood floor. Oh. Oh. That was funny. I, I thought that was really, really good. Yep, and there's the uh, the guy. Or, oh, it said it was a guy. Yeah, it was a guy. I think there's another uh, model. It's a girl in the same gown there. But yeah, that was that was pretty good. I liked it. It wasn't as super cheesy as I thought it was going to be. The enemy moved very quick. So I'm wondering, I bet, depending on the order you picked up the pages, you could put yourself in a bad spot. Like that one where the page was at the end of the little hall there. If you clicked it and you didn't know to bolt, it would get you. Because that thing moved fast. I'm surprised. But but it looked like I lost him on the uh, the stairs there. It wouldn't come up any further. But let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. On to the next one. I'm trying to think what one I'm going to do next that's going to be uh, the best one. But anyways, guys, I love you. You're awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Until then, as always, later.